Welcome to Painting with Steve. We will be continuing our series of painting the Cthulhu Death May Die miniatures. Today we'll be adding the final colors to our miniatures. So let's get painting. And we're going to be starting out adding uh, purple to our miniatures. We're going to be continuing to use uh, the speed paints from Army Painter to finish painting our miniatures. Uh, and to reminder, these new speed paints, uh, not only do they add color, but they also add kind of like a, act like a wash and also add like highlighting all at the same time, uh, which really speeds up painting. That's the name, speed paint. However, you do have to be very careful when you're painting, you got to really what we call in the profession, you have to be neat. When you're painting, you can't really overflow where you're going. You have to make sure you don't put too much of this paint on because the paint, since it's a lot more thinner because it's also kind of like a wash, will run if you put too much on it and get over other places that you've already painted. If you do make a mistake, you can get some white paint out and paint over the mistake and then repaint the area for what kind of like what I call spackling. Uh, and right now it's what I'm doing. I'm kind of looking to see whether there's any details that need to be fixed and adding the final colors to our miniatures. Added some details to our truck drivers. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a wooden sword with jagged, jaded teeth in it. Is what it looks like, kind of like what like a Mayan or something we used to use. And then we're moving on to adding some more color. Um, I'm actually starting to apply the base. To our miniatures. Uh, what I always do is that's one of the last steps is that I will uh, use uh, black paint around the base. Even if I'm going to be flocking to give a, a uniform color underneath the flocking. But for this uh, game we're actually not doing uh, any flocking, just providing a black base. Uh, the technique is pretty simple. Just carefully go around the feet or shoes of your miniature and then cover up the edges as well. Uh, don't worry if it doesn't look super smooth when you're done painting. Uh, as the paint dry, it will smooth out and become one flat finish. So let's see if we can get the rest of these things done. I actually enjoy this final stage of putting on the base for our miniatures because it really cleans up the miniature, makes them look a little more uh, finished. I mean, the only thing after this is to seal the miniatures up. Uh, it also cleans up the base a bit because often when you paint the shoes and stuff, you don't worry too much about missing and getting something on the base because you know you're going to cover it up with black and black covers just about any color. Uh, but once you're done with this, uh, they definitely are looking more finished. So let's finish up our last couple of miniatures and then we'll see how they're looking.
probably have noticed that I'm doing the uh, venture that I added the colors, the other colors uh, last on. I'm painting the space last because I wanted to make sure that paint above was fully dry before I started handling it because that's one thing you want to be careful. You don't want to put your fingers and stuff on white paint. Well, there, they're all done. So let's take a look and see how our miniatures are now looking. I am really pleased with how they're coming out. The details are really popping on them. And I think these are going to be a great addition to our game. But, well, that's all for now. Uh, next time we'll be adding a seal to our miniatures. But as for now, happy painting.